Test one, two, three. Test one, two, three. What is this Call of Duty content on my channel? Well, those are pretty much the roots of my channel. But um, I'm also gonna talk about the song I Hate My Voice and actually hating my voice in a, in a good day vocal fra voice so I don't hate it too much because it's too bright and childish. I'm just gonna talk like that the whole video. Uh, no, no, not really. I also tried recording this once already on my balcony. The problem with that was that I had too much background noises from birds, which birds weren't really the bad thing. Too many birds background noises, too many cars, that's most of the problem. And people working with their, what's the word in English? Rasenmäher in Deutsch. Lawnmower, there we go. That's the word I'm looking for. Uh, out in the fields. Home gardens, I don't know if that's a thing in America, but uh, people could, if they live like me in an apartment, could um, pay a little bit of money for some gardens elsewhere and go there for the gardening needs. I'm drifting already away from what I wanted to talk about, which is my song, um, I Hate My Voice, which it... Uh, at least doing on uh, TikTok not so badly. Something that surprises me the most that uh, TikTok views come way more easily by than YouTube views. That's at least something the platform has going for it because uh, they literally throw the videos in people's faces. So, um, well, I'm getting views on TikTok, and if you see my YouTube views, they ain't that high, not that much. And I have a lot of songs, maybe around 10 on YouTube, some which hopefully will not blow up and stay forgotten, which I'm not gonna mention. Mostly because I, number one, hate my voice. Second off, I'm learning what I'm doing right here. So it's all a work in progress. To get better, get what I, what I want to be, the results um, I want. And um, yeah, because mixing, mastering and all that stuff is ain't that easy. And I got right now about 3 to 4 years of experience. Mostly mixing and producing. Mastering was its own beast that I'm learning about since mostly what was it november last year where we had one month of lockdown and i mostly tried to get myself ready for mastering and uh, i feel like i'm getting more and more into the direction of knowing what i'm doing and getting myself some breakthroughs with mastering so that uh, i can um, put my voice into tracks my rap verses and my singing that it doesn't that doesn't on the one side jump too much out and sound too much weird and out of place and uh, while well, making them fit in and uh, sadly a part of that was putting vocal fry on my, not vocal fry I mean there's still a little bit of vocal fry in there which is sometimes cool but sometimes sounds just bad or the tune or the tune put auto-tune on my vocals and I hate it but it makes it sound a little bit a little bit more pleasing and puts it a bit better into the song into the mix whatever you want to call it then some engineers especially mastering engineers would say that uh, it's not a master if it's not mastered by someone else which is mostly what I'm lacking the most right now, the opinions of someone else who actually has a clue what they're doing, not just random family mates and members and friends 
which is the thing that I'm trying to avoid the most. Pretty much nobody of my family and my small friendship circle knows about what I'm doing. YouTube or music. YouTube nobody knows about what I'm doing. And uh, with music, my folder, my folder and my me and me mother know what I'm doing a little bit. Not really to the full extent, but uh, I must start torture them with a few of my vocal takes and some mixing tries and what well, I start from no knowledge and no skill to um, well since the first lockdown the first lockdown was the starting point was started to make music full time pretty much you could say because I had all the time in the world and it was the breakthrough moment that I needed to actually start working on something before that it was more so trying on doors, digital audio workstations to figure out and find my preferred workplace. <laughs> That's mostly what I did before the first lockdown. Researching, finding a, a starting point, a place where I can start and if you're wondering I'm um, working with Studio One 4, I didn't even upgrade to 5. Gotta be careful with my resources. That's why also I haven't um, bought a distribution service for Steam or not Steam, for Spotify or Tidal or something like that. I haven't put my music on Tidal or Spotify yet because I feel like it's. Well. I've worked for two years on some of those songs and I don't want to spend money now on all the time and resources I put actually into making songs to uh, put them on platforms where I'm very much in getting much money back anyways. So I've saved a little bit of money there and I don't know if it's gonna, if it would contribute a lot of views and something like that which uh, said TikTok is doing the best job of pushing my music actually out YouTube does pretty much nothing and um, pretty much every other service like uh, audio SoundCloud and Pancamp is artists just follow each and pull a little bit following each other without actually anybody listening to what you're doing it's mostly just listening maybe maybe five seconds and then just oh here's a like here's a follow and so it's a follow back kind of thing that gets you nowhere I uh, talked more about marketing than I uh, talked about my song well I uh, started singing writing no writing I started away a long time before singing but uh started singing, recording and rapping in the first lockdown and because of that I started to kind of develop a hate for my voice like a lot of people will and therefore I wrote a song about how much I hate my work and my thoughts that went through my mind it gotten better and it still will get I need a lot of time till I get where I want to be especially with my singing, my rapping develop quicker because naturally it's a little bit easier I would say but yeah as uh, the gameplay comes to a close my voice runs out because I ain't used to talk for more than 10 minutes right ah uh, I guess that's it bye tschüss